Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I am reviewing the Botanical Inspirations deck and book set by Lynn Arujo. And this is a very beautiful 44 card deck, including the guidebook. And it has beautiful, beautiful packaging, nice sturdy box. I like the little uh, accent ribbon here to help you open the box. Very nice. And oh, look at that. It's a flip top box. Excellent. And then we have another ribbon in here to help you lift out uh, the booklet. First, take a look at the booklet. Okay, and it's a matte finish. And inside the booklet, okay, we have introduction to the cards. And then it goes right into the cards. No colored pictures, just a picture on the card with the type of flower, okay? And then the flower symbolism, okay? This is amaryllis and it's a symbolism, determination, and creative achievement. And then there's some wording on the card. It says, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. How beautiful. And then it's going to tell you about the amaryllis and uh, what the flower's significance is and an inspirational uh, message. It'll say, when the amaryllis appears, it means your muses have blessed you with their inspiration. Fulfill your creative destiny and your achievements will be recognized and rewarded. So very beautiful. Okay, it tells you the meaning of the flower and then, of course, the meaning of the card, the message. And it's going to go through all 44 of the cards, okay? So very nicely done guidebook. Oh, and at the end, it's going to tell you how to do a three-card spread. Okay, some other spreads. Okay, very, very nice guidebook. Not too much, not too little. I would say it's perfect. Okay, and then there's a nice little bag to put your cards in. Um, this is wonderful. I mean, I think this box is sturdy enough to protect the cards, okay? I'll probably leave them in the box, uh, but it's nice to have this bag too. Very, very nice touch to this set, okay? And you just put the cards in there, and then you have your drawstring. Very nice touch. Okay, and let's look at the cards. Okay, well, there's also going to be a little fold out here. And it's going to be like a, a quick reference, I would call this. Okay, and it's going to tell you each of, oops, <laughs> each of the flowers and what the keywords are, what they mean. Okay, amaryllis means determination and creative achievement. Uh, anemone means anticipation. Apple blossoms uh, stand for choices, knowledge, and illumination. Asters are elegance and patience. Bellflowers are gratitude. So very nice. It's going to go through all 44 of these cards. So this is a quick reference. Very nice. And then the cards themselves. And let me just get something to open this. One second. I should have been prepared with a knife. And let me just take this plastic off carefully. I do not want to damage the cards. Okay. And here we go. Okay, it's just a, a very beautiful pastel backing to them. Beautiful color. It says Botanical Inspirations. Okay, very Victorian feel look to it. And the card stock is, is okay, it's decent. And these are uh, on the smaller side, these cards, okay? Covers my most of my hand. And let's take a look at these beautiful things. And I'll tell you, these cards are gonna be perfect for spring and we're right around the corner here from spring in the Northern Hemisphere. So I am looking forward to using this deck for spring. And uh, there's a card in there that says about the illustrator, Pierre Joseph Redoute, 1759 to 1840, was born to a Flemish family of decorative painters. As a young man, he went to Paris where he began painting flowers. So beautiful. That, who ha that is who has done the artwork on these. 
and they're very simple and to the point, which is what I like. Okay, amaryllis, anemone, apple blossoms, asters, bellflower, and I like the vintage look to them. I hope the camera's picking it up. It's kind of like a little bit darker around the corners, like a, a vintage card. Like I said, they have a very nice Victorian feel to them. Beautiful. Camella. Clematis. Coreopsis. Crocus. Daffodil. Dahlia. False indigo, forget-me-nots, garden heliotrope, gerba, gerbera daisy, gladiola, gloxina, hibiscus, honeysuckle. I love the smell of honeysuckle. I used to have honeysuckle cologne from Avon. It was so Beautiful. Love, love, love that smell. Hyacinth. It reminds me of Easter hyacinths. Hydrangea. Iris. Lilac. Love lilacs. I love the smell of li lilacs. They are absolutely gorgeous. Lily. Magnolia. Morning glory. Nastertium, Nastertium, Pansy, Peony, I have peony bushes in my yard, and they are a beautiful fragrance as well. Phlox, Primrose, Pink Rose, Red Rose, White Rose, Yellow rose, and you know, all these rose cards remind me of the uh, rose oracle, and it was a toss-up between the rose oracle and this botanical inspirations deck. And the rose oracle, of course, is just all roses. Um, this one had more of a variety of different flowers, which appealed to me more than just the roses, but I think I'm going to get that rose oracle too. Um, that is a beautiful deck as well, uh, but these are probably the same uh, Types of roses that are in that deck. Sacred Lotus. Snapdragon. Sweet Pea. Sweet William. Trumpet Gentian. Tuberose. Tulip. Venice Mallow. And lastly, Violet. How beautiful. All oh, these are such a, a feminine energy to them. They're, like I said, very Victorian. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork uh, by Pierre Joseph. Uh, he did a really beautiful job at painting these flowers. Gorgeous. These are perfect for springtime. I'm going to take one of these each day, use it as, as either a meditation focus or as, you know, a daily draw for the, the theme of the day until I learn the entire deck. Again, these are going to be perfect for springtime that's right around the corner. And if you would like to purchase these cards, you could click the link in the description box down below. It's going to take you right to Amazon to purchase them and they will deliver them right to your door. Uh, these are great for a beginner, great for a seasoned card reader. You could open a reading with these, close a reading with these. You could mix and match these with Tarot, with Lenormand, uh, any cards that you want, you could mix and match these with. I just can't wait to use these. If you've enjoyed this review, uh, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe. Uh, because I will be back with more, and this is going to be a welcome addition to my ever-growing Oracle Deck collection. And thank you for watching.